February 29th, 2008 from New York High. I'm Shelley Palmer. First up, the Disney ABC television group has officially announced Stage 9, a new digital media studio. The studio's first project is Squeegees, an online comedy show about a group of bumbling window washers. The five-minute episodes will be released on Mondays and Fridays on both YouTube and ABC.com. However, this new media studio has made a decidedly old media move. Users will not be able to embed episodes in their blogs or on their social network pages. This is a mistake. If the shows are any good, users are just going to strip off the commercials and they're going to pirate the content. Well, I guess it's hard to teach an old media company new media company tricks. NBC canceled Quarter Life after its first episode debuted to incredibly low ratings. Bravo will reportedly run the full 13 episode series instead. If you remember, this was supposed to be the first TV quality internet production with TV production values and TV budgets. Well, it bombed online and now it bombed on TV. The Screen Actors Guild announced that it will not start formal negotiations with the AMPTP until April at the earliest. Until then, the Guild will hold internal meetings to prepare its proposal. SAG also needs to resolve the details of its joint bargaining relationship with AFTRA, the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. They usually bargain together. Cablevision and Ticketmaster are reportedly in talks to acquire 49% of AEG Live, the country's second largest concert promoter. The deal would connect major concert venues across the country, including Madison Square Garden, Fuse TV, and more, with Ticketmaster's market dominance and AEG's promotional engine. Live Nation, another concert promoter, recently broke off a partnership with Ticketmaster to start its own ticketing business. In other news, YouTube will add live video sometime in 2008, according to co-founder Steve Chen. Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane has a new online show in the works that will be distributed by Google and, earlier this week, Nielsen canceled its ambitious Project Apollo, which was testing Arbitron's people meters for TV ratings. And that's Media Bytes for Leap Day, February 29th, 2008. Remember, each day I sort through all the technology, media, and entertainment news so you don't have to. Visit ShellyPalmer.com. Give me two minutes and I'll give you stuff you really care about. For Media Bytes, I'm Shelly Palmer. See you tomorrow.